Look, Mikey, let's have a competition and find out whose house is better. Hmm, do you mean bed house? I'll tell you at the beginning that my bed is better. <laughs> I have a device that causes all kinds of disasters. So let's just cause all kinds of disasters and see whose house falls apart. Hmm, so you're suggesting a competition and we'll see whose bed the house is better built. Great, I agree, I like your idea. <laughs> now we will find out which of us is the more talented builder. I wonder what will fall on this roulette. Hmm. I wonder what will happen. I hope not a hurricane. That cannot be. Huh? So we are waiting for the lava wave. Oh no! You know what this means to Mikey, that both our houses can just be washed away with lava. Ah! Listen, soon this wave of lava will reach us, hide in the house, and don't you dare open the door. <laughs> oh no! A wave of lava practice has reached us. Why exactly waves of lava? Why on roulette did not storm? Lava can melt the diamond blocks of my house. <laughs> my house could have withstood that big lava wave, and my house would have burned down. JJ's bed is fine. The diamond house doesn't even have scratches on it. Honestly, I thought JJ's house would be destroyed. I thought the head diamond blocks would melt. But unfortunately, JJ's house is fine. I need to put out this fire. <laughs> My house has been able to withstand this way well what happens next. Hope the next challenge isn't so difficult. Hmm. Thanks to water balloons, I can put out fire or lava. Well, I prepared water balloons beforehand. Hmm. We need to put out the fire and the lava quickly or they'll burn my house down. We should have made the house out of stone and not of earth. I wonder what JJ's doing right now. Maybe he's in trouble just like me. Although if JJ's just looking at me through the window, he's fine. I had to build a house out of diamonds too. And I actually think I made a really cool house out of the ground. Hmm. I was able to withstand this test. Honestly, I was afraid that lava would destroy my house. The way I see Mikey's house is in bad shape. So are you ready for the next competition? Hmm. I feel like one more test and there's nothing left of your house. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, JJ. My house is almost in perfect condition. <laughs> Unlike you, I can make a good house out of the ground. Huh? Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's turn the wheel. Look what the next challenges will be. I wonder what the next challenge will be. Honestly, it doesn't matter what the next test is because my house is gonna make it. And you, Mikey, what do you think we're going to be facing? Maybe another wave of lava. Huh? Don't joke like that. I hope there will be anything but lava. Something is tornado. Hmm. What? But why these tests are difficult only for me? <laughs> hmm. Run home, JJ. No. Or you could get hit by a hurricane. <laughs> what I didn't think this tornado was going to happen so fast. I thought we'd have a little time. No. I actually wanted to go eat. Okay, it doesn't matter. I hope Mikey and his house are okay, and I'm worried about him if Mikey's house blows up. My house is heavy, it's not gonna happen to him, so I don't have to worry about it. What is it? Why is this hurricane so powerful? Part of my tent just flew away. How can it be the same blocks of earth? They are heavy. Okay, it doesn't matter what kind of strong wind I need to seal these holes in the ceiling, they get wind. Why is my house being destroyed and JJ's house just in perfect condition? Woohoo! Oh no, my house is being blown down. You had to make a house out of wood so it could easily withstand this hurricane. Hmm, what a loud wind. Because of this tornado in my face, earth and sand, I wish I had glasses of sand. <laughs> the sand got right in my mouth. How disgusting. Hmm, okay, it doesn't matter. There's just a little more to go, and this test is over, and hopefully the next test won't be so hard. Woohoo! Well, I was able to pass this test. I wonder what will happen next. Huh? Honestly, I thought my whole house would fall apart. Huh? I'm lucky the storm wasn't so bad. Yep. Even though I knew that my house could endure, everything was still scary. Huh? One day in the village, a hurricane took a whole house in which a villager lived. All right, let's spin the drum, Mikey. Yep. I wonder what we'll get. Like, there's only a storm left. There's the hardest test left, and I hope we can handle it. Hmm. What? what? Is, is it, it a storm? storm? Uh-oh. <laughs> this test is going to be very difficult. Well, my bed will make it stand. Maybe, JJ, you'll give up now? 
If you say you're giving up, then we don't have to check out whose house is better. We already know my bed is better than yours. <laughs> no, but let's check out who's got a stronger house. I want to see your house fall apart during a hurricane. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Mikey. I'm sure your bed fell apart 10 minutes after the storm hit. Hmm. I wonder if my home can withstand this storm. I am almost certain that nothing will happen to my house, and it will not even get hit by this thunder and lightning. Still, the lightning is a lot stronger than I thought, but I think my house can take it. Honestly, I think his house is gonna be okay with a bed too, and he's gonna survive this storm. My house is falling apart right in front of me, but it was a bad idea to make a house out of the ground. Because of this rain, the ground becomes damp and literally falls down. Almost the entire roof is already gone because of the wind blocks of the earth just fly away. Hmm. It is a horror. And what do I do now? And also because of this fire part of the wooden floor burned, I wish I had a stone or other durable resource. Why is the bed of JJ's house in perfect condition, but there are not even any stains from the fire? Ah! And my house almost burned down. We need to put out this whole fire, or else there's no floor at all, and it's gonna burn! Woohoo! Well, I was able to fix part of the roof. Now my floor will not be struck by lightning. I will need to fix the floor to the ground so that I do not fall down again. I'm doing great, now I don't fall down. Now I have to finish fixing the roof with earth so the rain doesn't get on my floor. Well, I was able to fix most of the problems now. At least, no rain from the ceiling and no lightning hits me. Hmm. The only thing that makes me happy is that JJ's house is constantly being struck by lightning, but his house is still in perfect condition. I think I made a pretty good house out of the ground. How powerful is this hurricane? From the fact that lightning is constantly hitting our house as they begin to burn! I can't wait for this to end, and the next stage of the competition has begun! <laughs> huh? Well, my house could have easily withstood that hurricane. I saw Mikey's lightning strike your house, and then there was a fire. Hmm. I'm glad you're doing well in the end, and you didn't end up in a fire. <laughs> hmm. All right, Mikey, now we have the final round of the trial. From what I understand, the next challenge will be an army of zombies and other monsters. Yep. And this time, your house, Mikey, is going to fall apart. Here in the chest were the spikes of other love shoot, and there was the diamond equipment. Well, you're ready, Mikey. This round will be final. Now that we know whose house is the best, we'll find out once and for all who's better at building. Hmm. Hmm. I hope these zombies don't strike at once, and we have at least some time to prepare for their attack. Hmm. Listen, JJ, let's set the traps in advance, so that when the horde of zombies appears, we already have many traps. Hmm. Honestly, I don't think I can handle this, and I'm sure a zombie will destroy my house, but I'm not gonna lose. Huh? Don't worry, Mikey. Our homes can handle this zombie army. Hmm. Love your idea of setting traps from the start. The last time we rolled the drum, the trial started right away, and the last few times we didn't even have time to prepare, but now we've set traps from the start. Yep. Too bad. We don't have as much time as we'd like. If we had more time, we could make cooler traps. Hmm. Listen, JJ, I wonder what you're doing. Why are you digging this hole? You want to pour lava in it so that when the zombies come to your house, they fall into lava or something. Hmm. And now I know you're not pouring lava in this pit. You put spikes in it, which is also a good trap. But I think the idea of lava was better. <laughs> hmm. Well, it doesn't matter, but let's play the drum. Wait, it's too early to spin the drum. I think I'll cover my trap with a thin layer of earth and grass so the zombies don't see it and come here and then fall down. Oh! Don't worry, Mikey will be all right if you want us to team up, and we'll both survive against a zombie army. Hmm, I don't know, JJ, but I promise to think about what you said. If I fail, I'll just come to you for help, which I think is a good option. But I think I can handle this horde of zombies. I see you're making more traps now. I thought you only wanted to pick one hole, and you're setting more traps. Hmm, if you come to me for Mikey's help, I will be only happy. So don't distract me, Mikey. I want to finish building traps. I just thought we were taking our time building traps so we can set a lot of traps. Hmm. Think about
about it, Mikey. We don't know exactly how many zombies there will be in case there are only five zombies or an army of zombies. <laughs> so it's better to make as many traps as possible. Actually, I don't have a lot of resources, so I can't make the traps I wanted. Hmm. To be honest with you, Mikey, you did a good job with your house being pretty strong even though you built it out of the ground. Yep. If I was honest, I thought your house would fall apart in the first trial, but your house was pretty strong and I could make it to the final round. <laughs> Honestly, I think my house can handle even the final test. I think it's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna make it. Listen, what are you doing now? Why are you making a ladder out of the ground? Even though I see what you do, but I do not understand why you do it? Look, JJ, maybe you can set traps around my house too, you know? Hmm. So you can see for yourself that we have almost no traps left. To be honest, I don't think I have enough traps for my house. So I just don't have any traps for your house. Huh. And you asked me what I was doing now and why I had to build these stairs. The answer is simple. At the bottom, I put a mechanic who will shoot arrows and held the wire to my house. That is, I will activate the lever and will fly arrows. All simple. It's actually a very banal trap. But, as far as I'm concerned, it's quite effective. Even if zombies see this trap, they won't know how it works. There's still a little more time before I finish building the traps, and we can start spinning the drum. Listen, Mikey, I've got an idea. You'd better not be doing nothing, dig a hole. <laughs> Look, let's get this drum rolling. The sooner we get started, the sooner we can finish. Look, I think you built some really cool traps. I think they're gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I have a good feeling about Mikey. Listen, sit down on the roof, better not go down. Yep. Oh no! And there's an army of zombies I thought there would be less, but nothing. We will definitely be able to withstand the attack of these zombies. Not for nothing I built traps. Now we either just have to wait until morning or we kill all these zombies. Let's just wait till morning. Hmm. Oh no! Mikey was attacked by a horde of zombies. I told him to sit on the roof. I have to go to his rescue. How many zombies I hope I can sneak up on Mikey so those zombies don't hurt me. <laughs> My traps work even better than I thought, and now I have to go save Mikey. How many zombies are here? Hold on, Mikey, I'm coming. I told you to sit on the roof of your house, so why did you fall down? Let's go to my house. Listen, JJ, let go of the arrows. It really helps. I can't go to your house yet, too many zombies. Hmm. If I try to approach your house, the zombies will just rip me apart. Put more traps near the pit. Look, we almost did it, Mikey. There's practically no zombies left. Almost all the zombies died from traps. I can't believe it. But by the looks of it, we can beat all those zombies. Yep. Listen, run to me quickly. There's practically no zombies here you will not catch. Hiya! Ouch! 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 We almost beat this zombie army. Now we have two zombies to kill. <laughs> You asked me why I fell off a roof all of a sudden. I thought I could beat a zombie, which is why I jumped. I didn't think there'd be so many zombies. So listen, what are we gonna do next, JJ? Hmm. I'll set more traps. I think there'll be a few waves of zombies. <laughs> and we've only managed to beat one wave of zombies. I don't know how many times the zombies will attack us, but better set more traps. I have more traps left. Of course, not enough to withstand an attack by an army of zombies. Uh-oh. I thought the zombies would attack until the morning. So listen to Mikey, come here to my house. <laughs> you better hide from the beginning so I don't have to save you. <laughs> <laughs> After all, the trap works very well. Not one more snake could not pass through my pit. How good that I made the traps with arrows. Now all we have to do is wait for the zombies to die from my traps. <laughs> There's a lot of zombies out there. Honestly, I thought if I hadn't set these traps, I would have lost. Oh no! Mikey's been attacked by a small zombie mob again. Although I think he can do better than that. And those zombies destroyed my home. Too bad I didn't make it bigger, so more zombies would fall down and die of thorns. Ouch. Oh, 
I think Ouch. it's gonna be the last zombie Ouch. attack. And if we can beat the zombies now, Ouch. we'll finally be done Ouch. with this competition. Ouch. I have to help Mikey. I thought he could handle this little Ouch. zombie army himself. Ouch. Hold on a little longer. Ouch. I'm coming to your aid. I told you not to get in a fight. I had to help you again. You better help me instead of talking. First there was one zombie, and then more zombies appeared, and they attacked me. Hmm. While Mikey fights zombies, I will break his house. <laughs> we have a competition with him. If we have a tie, we will have to repeat this test again. Hmm. I lose by myself, but I don't want to ruin my home. Now, I have to wait for Mikey to defeat that zombie army. <laughs> Actually, Mikey's house is very well preserved. So good for him, I can hear him out there fighting zombies. He single-handedly beat a small crowd of zombies. So good for him. Now I have to wait for him to get here. What happened when I left my house was intact? Huh? Did my house get attacked by zombies when I left? It's a shame, but my house has withstood it and will be as good as new. <laughs> Woohoo! Look, JJ, you win. And what do we do now? Hmm. Listen, Mikey, let's go to the store and get a large ice cream. And I'll buy you ice cream of your choice. Yep. It's just that you're going to build a really nice house and you fought really well. So I figured you deserved ice cream. 